So, um, as I mentioned in the little short video about your hips um, getting out of whack, the types of things that are going to impact that, since you're in a push sport, right, whether you're running or cycling or rowing, like any contact point that pushes, all your muscles are working, and when one side gets more tight or the other, especially if you're in an asymmetrical motion, all of those things are asymmetrical. Even though, even though rowing is two legs at once, the boat's moving around, nothing is perfect, it's not a vacuum, right? So. Anything in your legs that get tight will also throw off your hips, um, which will then again impact the back. So um, when it comes to legs, the things that you want to remember are front, back, and both sides. That means outside and inside, front, back. Those are the things that you want to keep even and balanced, and I'm sure that you um, that makes complete logic, right? Logic and science. Um, so easy stretches to make sure that you're staying in balance are going to be calf stretches. Um, I won't show you those because I'm sure that you have multiple calf stretches that you already know. You can you know, put your foot up against a wall, um, straighten your leg with it, um, you'll feel the calf stretch. Make sure you foam roll that. Calves are pretty easy to massage with your own hands and you can probably find different rocks in there. Um, the first stretch that I'll show you is um, a pretty simple hamstring stretch, but your hamstring you want to get multiple different areas in your hammies. So for your hammies, what you would do is take a strap or a sock or a towel or anything that you have, a shoelace, um, and you're going to first, your thigh, you want to pull it all the way in to basically your chest. There's going to be maybe 20 or 30 degrees angle from here to here um, and, uh, it, with your body and your leg. And what you want to do is make sure that your knee stays there, it stays close to your body. Right? You would lay flat, you wouldn't have your head up like this while you do this. Lay flat, again, push, squeeze your abs to push your low back into the ground. Keep this pulled in and you're going to go toe over head until you meet resistance. So as you go to lengthen, you want to make sure that your knee is not getting farther away from your chest. You'll hold it there. You can obviously, because this is close, you can probably grab it with your fingers too. But again, knee stays close to chest, foot goes overhead until you find resistance. This one you'll feel more in the belly or closer to the butt side of your muscle. That's going to get a part of your hamstring. This is your proximal hamstring. Okay. The other one that you can easily do is go straight leg, squeeze your quad here, squeeze your anterior tip, bring your toes down. I mean, for me, my calves are kind of tight, so you feel it all the way in this area. So straight leg, you're going to get kind of the distal, the uh, lower portion of your hamstring. So again, squeeze here, squeeze here, bring toe in, and use the strap to help pull your foot above your head. You're looking for at least 90 degrees of flexion at the hip for normal. You can also take your toe and rotate it in and out to get different areas of the hamstring. And in the calf, you have three hamstrings that you can stretch by moving this around. And again, see so if you can get a little bit more out of it. You would do the same thing on both sides. So again, versus there. Okay. You can also take the leg, since you're already on your back, drop it over to the side. You'll feel a long stretch all the way down. Again, squeeze quad to keep the knee straight. Squeeze here to keep the toe pulled down. Drop it to the side. You'll feel a stretch depending on where you're tight. You might feel it in your calf. You might feel it in your IT band. You might feel it up here in your butt. And again, you're looking for 90 degrees at the hip. 